So I'm back here with Mr. Michael Russell. We caught up with him at the beginning of the TT fortnight because he is a man making history here at the TT 2022. He's not racing just in sidecars or just in one of the solos. He's racing in absolutely every class that he can get a machine in. Michael, you crazy man, how's it been for you? I'd like to think myself not crazy, if I'm honest. You know, we, crazy's good. Crazy's good, or some crazy's good. Um, yeah, we took on the challenge back in 2020. It, was, it seemed like a really good idea at the time. And as times got closer closer to the TT, you know, I went away to the Falklands, I went away for courses, and we just didn't get any time on bikes. And uh, as we arrived at the TT, there was a massive um, yeah, sort of sensation of, oh my goodness, you know, we've got an awning full of bikes here. I've never sat on any of them. And we're gonna go off down Braille and try and do this challenge. And amazingly, we're on senior race day we're still racing we've got five out of five now mm. three races today and genuinely i'm slightly shocked massively shocked uh in awe of everyone out there that's doing the tt all the all the marshals everyone out there has been fantastic as you know um and and we've had their assistance on occasion here mm. this this last fortnight um but we're here we're doing it um all the bikes have been fantastic the fact that we've, you know, to finish a race around the TT course is is an achievement. You know, if you speak to some 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 racers, some riders, etc., in the past and all that, their only goal is to finish a TT. I've had really good finishes, and I've had some really good results that could have been. You know, without we sort of sat on the, the hill at uh, you know Glen Helen watching on the last lap or something. You know, something stupid's gone wrong with the bike. You know, something little, uh, and it is always the little thing, things that you know can put you out. Um, so for that point of view Hayley it's been amazing that we've got to this point where we've started five races on bikes that we've genuinely sort of cobbled together here almost really mm. in certain, certain aspects some some bits have been done here um, and it's, it's working the team have been fantastic um, the porridge is going down the wrong way at the minute <laughs> um, but yeah it's it's great um, and I'd just like to say a heartfelt thanks to everyone that supported us message on Facebook. I, I can't get back to them all. I'm really sorry. Um, but it's been a, a, a very emotional, very long, and we spoke earlier about it, mm. long two, or two and a half, three weeks, whatever it is. Uh, and it started off dragging, you know, even though it was absolutely manically busy, it's been, it was dragging. Uh, and then it's all of a sudden culminated and you're sort of waking up on Friday morning here today and thinking we are actually... I mean, it's sad to say it, we're nearly finishing, which mm. is, you know, it's, uh, the TT Blues will be setting in on Monday. So, mm. yeah, I can't believe it. Thanks very much for, you know, and your support as well with the three wheeling side of things and the Energy FM side of things. There's been you know, great coverage for myself as a privateer, so I can't thank everyone enough for that. It's important for us to cover those stories. It's been inspirational for us to watch as well. I have to ask, uh, from a personal side, I want to know what um, has been the biggest challenge for you machine-wise in getting on and getting your head around? Can we just say mentally it's been all of them? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I jumped on the, the superbike uh, for the first night of practice, uh, and, and then we, you know, it turned out it's set up for an 18 stone man. I mean, it was like mm -hmm. there's something wrong with this bike, and it turns out it was suspension. You know, so mentally you jump off one bike onto the next. And someone asked me the other day, you know, what's what's hardest? They're all hard. TT's hard no matter what you ride, and you you could take a scooter around if you're trying to go at race pace. It's it, everything's hard. The sidecar has been a massive um, mental battle. And I know that sounds really strange. Physically, it's mental. It is so physical. I didn't appreciate how hard it was. And we spoke in the paddock before where muscling a big bike around is physically demanding. R wrestling lightweight, actually genuinely not that bad. It's just you've just got to be pinpoint accurate and try and keep that momentum going in the engine. But the sidecar, completely different kettle of fish. Uh, mindset you've got to just completely forget about everything and it's really hard normally when we've done short circuits and you jump off a solo bike onto a sidecar and you sort of set off down brands hatch you know paddock hill by the time you get to druids you, you're sort of in that mindset of right we're on the sidecar I, I thought it'd be fine down here but it's not at all you know the bumps everything you sort of sit in the sidecar and it's sort of i'm trying to get my mindset ready for it but I'm having to mentally tell myself that I'm on that sidecar, I've got three extra foot, I've got Freddie's soul to think about, 
all the way around and that mentally I mean unfortunately the incident that happened on the first superbike day on Saturday unfortunately when we saw that incident it really knocked me for six um, I, you know I was just I don't want to sort of draw on it but we all know the risks but when things like that happen on a solo when we've seen that and experienced it in front of us and stuff you're like it, it is what it is you know we'll set off down braille again when we get the restart but for the three wheeling side of things I genuinely had to have a serious word myself you know it did knock me for six I think I took myself off down the bottom of when we were sat at the uh, bottom of Bray Hill there waiting for obviously the incident to be sorted out and stuff I had to take myself away and, and then Freddie sort of came over and was like you okay and even thinking about now I'm not okay thank you Michael so Michael Russell, it's been a huge two weeks and it's such an inspirational story. Um, wherever you can support him, please do. What an incredible man, an incredible team here and the family spirit that they've got coming here at the TT. It's just been fantastic to watch and a really special story to have part of the Isle of Man TT races of 2022. Keep an eye on him. He's got races coming up today. He's got the 600, he's got the super bike and he's got the sidecar. So please do support him online and we've got a little bit more content to coming to you today so keep your eyes peeled online.